Wait, for real? Brand new event. Proving grounds. BG have finally given us. They've finally given us a sandbox mode where we can test things. Oh, wait, no, of course not. No, that's not right. Yeah. You were this close, CG. God damn. Oh, righty guys. Yes, you heard that right. There is a brand new game mode. They've changed it now to be event, but originally it was purported to be a game mode coming to the game. It is called Proving Grounds, and myself, like many other of the Star Wars fans, were immediately enthralled by the idea that finally we were going to get a sandbox mode where we can freely test all of the comps, all of the teams that we could battle, the Zetas, the Omicrons, the stats. We could manipulate things and test to our heart's content without having to use Squad Arena and refresh crystals in a game mode that is more or less defunct at this point, but no. BG pulled the literal rug from underneath us and said, here you go, have a new game mode that's actually basically just an event that turns up once a month. Now, I do not want to rag on this game mode, and certainly I don't want to rag on CG too much for this new game mode event. <clears throat> there is some positives to drag from this, guys. Everybody who has not got... Let me shift my face just over here real quick. You know what I mean? Okay, so I'm not going to rag on this event too much okay this is really focused at people that weren't able to max out red crate all of the old conquest and they could not get the conquest characters we're talking about your razor crests your cat soon enough it's going to be characters like maul and dad bod boba and eventually the tie in interceptor so it's a good event in theory in practice i like I like what they're trying to do. They're giving people a new game mode or slash event where people can earn these shards if they didn't seven star or if they weren't at the GP level that they could get a red box at hard mode in Conquest. This is a good thing. So essentially what it is, you once a month, this event is going to turn up much like sort of the Galactic Bounties event or, you know, like your Fleet Mastery style events, but instead of two weeks, it's once a month. And you can earn 20 shards of a conquest character that is a year or more older um and you can refresh that event to try and get the stars in principle this is a great idea you know it's much more exciting than just leaving a character in shipments and hoping that they turn up or just dropping 600 crystals to gain five shards much better than that way there are a couple of downside to this okay so let's read through this post from CG Tuscan Meathead, who is our new community manager uh, or temporary community manager replacing uh, Doja Fett. Peace out, my brother. Big love to you. Um, <clears throat> uh, temporarily replacing Doja Fett. So his post here. One, the one year mark for Commander Ahsoka Tano in Galactic Conquest is here. Much like Razor Crest, she is going to be moving out of the mode and reallocated to a brand new game event. Originally, this was purported to be a game mode. It wasn't a mode at all. It was an event. Okay, so she's heading to the new event called Proving Grounds. I don't like the fact that he's capitalizing event, but that's just my own nitpickiness. This event will have a monthly cadence and will allow you to earn her shards for free as long as you have the prerequisites. Now, the prerequisites I consider to be incredibly generous. It is just any R3 character. Whether that means you'll be able to actually beat the event given any R3 character, or if you need a team full of five or whatever, we don't know. But I think the bar is set kind of low when you consider normally you'd have to have access to sort of hard mode conquest to really start earning these which is 4 million GP and if you don't have an R3 team at 4 million GP I think you've got bigger problems <clears throat> so here are the requirements you must not already have the, the the particular character maxed out okay this does raise a concern for me we'll come back to that must not already have enough shards to seven star the unit so if you have 330 shards of this unit you can't enter once you obtain the 7-star or have enough shards to 7-star, they will no longer be accessible. Makes sense. This is not meant to be a source of shard shop currency. This is an opportunity to get characters that were once exclusive to Conquest. Again, we're coming back to this. Will other units be in the Proving Grounds farm? Yes, Razorcrest will also be in the Proving Grounds. And no, we will not be removing it from fleet shipments. So you're still going to have two places where you can grab Razorcrest, which is great. 
How many shards can you earn per event? You can earn 20 shards for the character or ship by beating the appropriate tier event time each time the event comes up. While the event comes up, you are able to spend crystals to refresh and clear it a limited amount of times. So you, it's not... We don't know that it's unclear how many times you're able to refresh this event, how many shards in total you will be able to get. We are also not sure on how much crystals it's going to cost to refresh it. Okay, so those are a couple of things that we really need to clarify before we can pass full judgment on this particular event. Will more units be added to Proving Grounds? Yes, it is our intention to use Proving Grounds as the location for players to earn specific units over time. But the initial release, Commander Ahsoka Tano and Razor Crest, will be the two available units. This is another bone of contention. What he's not saying here, what Meathead is not saying here, is that this is going to be the de facto area in which old Conquest characters are going to be released. Once they hit that one year mark and they become farmable, he is not saying Proving Grounds is where you get these characters. This does concern me, guys. This could be a new form of Marquee or a new form of Galactic Chase that CG is introducing. Limited number of refreshes. Guarantee you the crystal cost for this is going to be at least a thousand crystals to refresh. Take a look back. Think back about how Executor came out. You could unlock the character. You could ship. You could unlock the command fleet. You could get it to five stars through the event, and then you had to spend roughly 25,500 crystals in order to get it seven star in one event. Okay. Is that the path that CG are going down now? Is this going to be their new method of bleeding crystals out of the economy, essentially, and forcing a bit more whaling? I don't mind that in theory in practice. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with CG making money. OK, what I don't like it, what we don't know is a how many characters are they going to be releasing in this fashion? B, is it going to be new uh, legendary requirements, new top tier characters? We're talking about characters like your cat. You know, we're talking about characters level of maul, strong, influential individual characters. Are they going to release exclusively through pro Proving Grounds, forcing a large amount of crystal expenditure? And are these characters then going to be necessary in order to fit into top tier teams? You can almost guarantee that that sort of thing is going to happen. And how frequently is the cadence going to be? We know that the event will turn up monthly, but what we don't know is how frequently new characters are going to land in Proving Grounds. If it's once a month, that's a heck of a lot of crystals if you want to try and max out a character, don't you think? Okay. So there are a couple of questions around this Proving Grounds mode. We don't know anything about how the event goes. We don't know how the battle plays out. Is it just a simple battle? You beat it, you win it, great. Is it like a conquest thing? Is it going to have um, modifiers to the event that make it either really tricky or difficult? Um, is it a case of you play the event? Do you have to spend energy to play the event? Is it going to be like a ticket system? We don't know. We don't know. So lots of questions still be to be had. Now, I want to go briefly back over to the requirements here. This statement here, this is not meant to be a source of shard shop currency. Is it just me? Or am I being incredibly nitpicky here? This, se this seems to me to be a real asinine reason not to let characters who've already invested in several conquests have spent thousands of crystals unlocking a previous marquee character for the sake of 20 shards worth of shard shop currency. Why are you... Brand new game event, not mode, has been released. And CG are being so stingy that they won't let the people that have already dropped a shed load of cash play it and earn 20 shards worth of shard shop currency. I mean, come on, guys. That's hardly going to break the economy. <laughs> this is like needlessly punishing people that work hard and grind out red boxes and conquests each and every time they come out. Why are you alienating that side of the player base for the sake of 20, shard shop uh, 20 shards with a shard shop currency? Is it just me or does that seem like a really stupid reason not to let people play the event? Like you can't even play it. You can't even experience it. It's not like you can play it and get no rewards. You just, you just flat out can't experience it. Let me know in the comments, guys. I think that's an incredibly dumb reason to do something. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm, wrong. I'm always happy to see new events. Always happy to see new events. That's great. Super. Fantastic. New stuff coming to the game is never a bad thing. But when they make weird little decisions like this, it seems kind of weird, right? 
Yeah, it, that just doesn't fly. Anyway, that's going to cover it for this new event. That is going to cover it for this new event. Um, please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Like and subscribe because I need your love and validation. I operate off other people's validation, guys. I cannot actually function off my own uh, self-worth. It just doesn't happen. I need that to breathe, essentially. So please do hit that. Do it. Just, just like the video, guys, honestly. Until the next video. Peace out. Just giving a quick shout out to my patrons. I appreciate each and every single one of you. And without your support, I wouldn't be doing this today. Thanks so much.